Good day everyone, I am Abigail Gdigo and I am tasked to present you about knapsack problems. So we have here a knapsack and when we say a knapsack, we know that we could store things into it, not just one but many things. However, as to how many things we could store, it would depend on the capacity of the knapsack. So let's use this to solve problems in mathematics. At the end of this video, you are expected to define knapsack problems and to use Microsoft Excel in solving knapsack problems. But what really is a knapsack problem? So it is an optimization problem that is used to illustrate both problem and solution. And it derives its name from a scenario where one is constrained in the number of items that can be placed inside a fixed-sized knapsack. What is the aim? So the aim is to know the specific weights and values and to get as much as we want the much value into the knapsack as possible given the weight constraint of the knapsack. So how to use Excel or what are the steps to be done or to be undertaken when solving this using MS Excel? First, we have to identify what is asked in the problem. Next, place the given values in Excel, assign zero or one in the pick column, get a word equivalent using the if command, then get the sum product, and use solver and the simplex method to determine the items to be selected. So to understand this further, let's have a sample problem. We have here, use the following table to determine which items should be placed in a knapsack that has a five kilo capacity to maximize the value. So here are the items. And to solve the problem, we have to know first our goal, which is to select items and maximize the value given the 5 kilogram capacity of the knapsack. Next is to find equations through analyzing the problem. So from the given values, we could get that the maximum value would be 4x sub 1 plus 9x2 times 3x3 plus 5x4 plus 8x5. And we know that we have to maximize the value. Next is to find n, which is our weight. So we know from the problem that it is 1.4x1 plus 2x2 plus 0.9x3 plus 1.5x4 plus x5. And also we know that the capacity of the knapsack is only 5 kilograms, so thus it should not exceed that value. Now, since we know what to do and the goal, let us solve this using Microsoft Excel. Using the table presented earlier, let us rewrite here in Excel. We have the item, the weight, and the value. Now we have added some columns which are for pick. This is for us to determine which among the items should be placed in the knapsack. So first thing is to place numbers 0 or 1 in this column because 1 would represent to pick and 0 would be not to pick. Let's just do it randomly. Let's say this is 1, this is 0, this is 0, this is 1, and this is 0. Now, for us to determine easier whether it's picked or not, let us have here a command. Let's press equal sign, then if, double click, then here, b3 is equal to 1, comma, then pick, comma, then the symbols. After that, let's click enter. So we can see that one is picked, meaning we have placed the representation. By double clicking here, we can see that only those with one are picked. Now we could proceed to the next step. The next step would be to know the sum products of this column, which would represent the pick and the weight and we also have the pick and the value so to do that let's have equal sign then sum product double click let's select this array here 
And since we know that this array would also be used to get the value in this column, let's lock the cell by pressing F4. The next is comma, select this numbers here, and then press enter. So we can see that 2.9 is the sum product for this column. By dragging our mouse or our cursor, we could also find the sum product of our values here. So this one. After this, we know from the problem that the knapsack's capacity is only 5 kilograms, meaning the weight or this column should not exceed 5 kilograms. So let's represent that by this. We have less than or equal to and then 5 for 5 kilograms. Now, knowing all of this, we could solve it using our solver. So to do that, let's go to data, then solver, then let's set the objective. Since we have a weight here, let us press C8 because this is equivalent or this should be our goal not to exceed 5 kilograms. So let's have a mi maximum. By changing variable cells, which cells should be changed? So to determine whether to pick or not, this values here. So that's it. Next is we will add the constraints. So to add the constraints, we know that this value should be changed and this values one and zero are binary, so binary. Let's add another constraint because we know that this one here, the weight, should less be should be less than or equal to the knapsack's capacity, which is our constraint five. Now, do you have another constraint? If none, then let's press OK. Now let's make sure that this here is checked and that the solving method to be used is the simplex method. After that, let's press solve, then OK. We will see that the values here have changed and that the picked items are the hand mixer, the blender, and the hot pot. And this proves that the answer is correct because 4.9 is the nearest, but it did not exceed 5 kilograms. Why use Excel to solve knapsack problems? First, for faster calculation, for accuracy of result, and for convenience. So that's it. I hope you learned something from the video. Good day once again.